So this discussion comes up every now and then in different forums of, I hate the tooling company for my managed service provider. And I'm talking specifically to other IT companies that always ask the question like, hey, what stack are you using, et cetera, et cetera. But then they see an attack. And I've covered this a couple of times. I've covered attacks where the tooling of the MSPs were used against their clients. Basically the managed service provider, the IT company did not practice good security at all, therefore ends up getting hacked and therefore by extension, that was the pivot by which the attacker was able to gain access to all of the clients that that particular service provider supports. Dado did a great webinar on this. I'll find it and drop a link below. I mean, you can easily find a lot of information on this, but it's not the tooling companies is the problem. It's not Kaseya, it's not ConnectWise, it's not SolarWinds that's the problem with here. They all offer tools that have good security. We know they have other issues and that's not what I'm here to discuss. We're specifically here to talk about security and properly configuring those and locking them down is good security. But as we know, and as I've seen over and over in my industry as an IT provider and managed service provider myself, many of these companies just are really bad at doing any real work when it comes to updates and security hygiene. They are just leaving things hanging out. And I did a quick search again, I've talked about this before, but this is where the problem lies. It is not the fault of the tooling companies. And trust me, these tooling companies, my only fault I have with any of them is that they let these users set up things without being 2FA. They allow them to have insecure passwords. It's almost like, and I think the assumption is they assumed their audience was smarter than it was. I'm sorry if I feel this what happened over at ConnectWise with Screen Connect. They thought people would just do the right thing. And then ConnectWise has learned because their name's gotten dragged into this a couple times and they're not the ones directly at fault because of a security flaw, but because they allowed users to use weak passwords and then they did. And I see users, I mean IT companies, and that's how they got, you know, taken over and their clients taken over. And so I'm gonna share something real quick. This took me no time to find and I just thought it was, this was a search over in Shodan and I'm screenshotting and blurring because this IT company offers all kinds of managed cybersecurity, blah, blah, blah. Um, they have a really nice website, that's all I'm gonna say. Everything that you wanna see in an IT company. They're running server 2008. I blur, blurred out their name. They have remote desktop exposed. They have a CW admin, that's the ConnectWise admin. And undoubtedly, they're using RDP for convenience to log into their ConnectWise control server or, or ConnectWise server to do administration work. Let's go further. They're running an old version of IAS, and I've once again blurred out some of their uh, information here, and grabbed as a screenshot. Here's just some of the CVEs that Shodan listed with them because it's such an old version of IIS. Once again, no patching, no updates, uh, running an old version. And this is like just a screenshot. When I started digging just a little, matter of fact, it, it was the delay in getting this video was uh, almost like the face palming I do by just using Shodan and finding how many people have RDP with their ConnectWise credentials um, exposed so you can, like the ConnectWise admin user ready for a password. And then all they have to do, oh, look, we can figure out the name of the IT company. And then I usually send them some type of phishing email. And if they're this bad at security on this side of it, I'm willing to bet a phishing email would work great to get them to log into something. They probably use the same password everywhere. And that is the debrief on this. So I've actually talked to more than one, uh, several breach teams who have done remediation. I've spent some time with other you know, people who work in cybersecurity and they are jaded a little bit because they're just like, I'm so disappointed. Like they said, every time we think it's gonna be some clever attack that we sort out, we're like, oh, use the same password for everything? Like everywhere? Like with no password, no two factor anywhere, right? Nope. The same password for every account. Yep, you use single sign-on, yep, okay. Well, we know how they hacked you. Uh, they sent you an email, you clicked on this email, you gave them the password, and you use the same password no matter where they go, so then they took over everything. And the, the investigations on all these MSPs, and there's been a ton of them hacked, not just the couple that I covered. Um, I talked to one particular person that I think they're at 43 MSPs that have been hacked that they have done the breach remediation and been involved at some level in. That's a big number. Um, for a small company that does that. It's just ramping up. But, but I, my point is, it's not the tooling, it's about the patching. It's about making sure that the systems are done right and you have good security hygiene. I've had, I, I'm really happy because we've helped a couple companies help them. We use Screen Connect, so people know us for that. And I've helped some of these MSPs update their Screen Connect servers and things like that. And I, I did like the, you know, the guy was going, hey, don't judge me. I haven't updated in a while. <laughs> 
I'm glad nothing seemed wrong when we got in there. But yeah, a while was like four or five years he had not updated. He installed it and bought it and never updated again. And he's like, I feel like, you know, uh, I might have some security issues. I'm like, you may. Um, you may certainly have some. You haven't updated anything and there's a long list of problems. And, and you know, have the humility to reach out. If you don't know how to update these servers, you're not sure how to configure them, the person that set it up left, whatever those reasons may be, do it before you end up losing your business. Uh, I, I don't know how to get it through to these MSPs. Some of them are just so stubborn and I really am aggravated. They have no uh, sense that they don't know what they're doing. They are like overly confident and we've taken over IT from some of these overly confident, nice website, salesy IT people who had no idea what they were doing, no idea how to update the client software and clearly no infrastructure update for themselves. And when you start digging around just on Shodan, which by the way is no complete exhaustive search of the internet or MSPs that have things exposed, but wow, it'll give you some enlightening. If you just type in ConnectWise or Screen Connect and see how many of these companies are running really old versions with no certificates, passing you know, data over clear text, and probably not using 2FA. It's, it's like all the indicators for people or the threat actors looking for a target there's, it's a target rich environment. So these attacks are not, until these IT companies get picked off, these are not gonna get better. They're gonna get worse. We're gonna see more of it out there. Uh, we have businesses looking for more and more security. And unfortunately they're finding some of these companies that are way better at marketing and getting their name out there than they are at actually doing their job. Um, it, it's a really tough position for small businesses. I'm still trying to think of ways to you know, help them vet people. Cause even if they don't choose me, I want them to have an informed choice of not just the person that with the, you know, the best brochure or the best sales pitch, but a company that's actually doing the security. Our industry moves fast, so it's not as easy to certify that someone's doing a thing. I know a lot of people have tried that, um, but we kind of need to self-check a little bit. And you know, even yourself, if you own an IT business, you should have some of the humility to say, all right, I probably need a third party that's not my internal team to maybe look over what we do and see if it's secure or look over um, our external you know, exposure and figure out, are we exposing things? You can use Shodan for pretty cheap to do that and scan yourself. You can just, you know, go home and scan your off, scan your office IP ranges with Nmap or something simple, at least get some ideas whether or not you have some major exposure that you overlooked. These are really important things and I wish more IT companies to do it, but it's not the tooling, it's the IT companies. And um, with more and more people, it seems like getting into the IT game and wanting to put the hat on, it says we're a managed service provider. I hope you know what that comes with. That comes with managing and loading all these updates and making sure they work. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.